It's really exciting times. We're now the Royal Conservatoire of Scotland. In fact, we're the only Royal Conservatoire in the UK. We've outgrown the old name because we do more disciplines than just music and drama. We do dance, we've got modern ballet, and we do screen, we've got digital film and television, and we do production, we've got technical and production arts. Glasgow's a really warm, friendly, exciting city, really dynamic, a great place to be engaging in making art. Well, it's been great to just even this first year to study in a place where um, the devotion to the arts is so obvious from everyone. For the staff, the teaching staff, to be working artists is very, very important and that starts with the principal and myself as vice principal. He's a trumpet player, I'm a theatre director and we still go out and practice our craft. It means that we're still doing it we're, and students have respect, I think, for artists who can still do it. Um, you, you know, we're not 40 years out of date, we're up there with contemporary artists because we are contemporary artists. I find that our teachers always teach us and treat us as future professionals. They're always looking out for your, your professional and your like artistic well-being. They always make, want to make sure you're making the right choices. When our students uh, leave here, they're ambitious, adventurous, innovative, but above all, they're industry ready, and that's what employers want. And this is what we need to be doing: is to be turning out the the leaders of the future in the cultural and creative industries. It's really important to bring in people like Oliver Stone and Richard Attenborough who have immense status because they so inspire our students and they make such a buzz in the building. Say if we have a Kevin Spacey day, that makes students look beyond their own horizons. We're immensely proud of the award-winning, purpose-built Spears Lock Studios, the amount of space that we've got up here. Not only are the students absolutely up there with the best, but the facilities are too. We have got an estate strategy away into the, into the future to keep this conservatoire ahead of the game. It's really, really good because you have opportunities to perform. Our students learn through performance. They play in the more intimate surroundings. Then we get the public in to watch them, and then we encourage them to tour as well. This thing called performance, whatever we mean by that, whether it be concert or drama or whatever it is, is right at the heart of the learning experience. We're busier than most producing houses across the United Kingdom. There is never a week, really, when there isn't at least one thing in production on our stage with an audience in front of it. It really broadens your horizons when you're seeing other people's work, because there's so many creative people in this building. It's helped me cultivate myself just as an, as an artist, not just as a dancer. We have lots and lots of uh, co-working with our partners in National Theatre of, of Scotland, Scottish Ballet, the Scottish Opera, Royal Scottish National Opera, and the BBC. It's a, a really sort of multicultural and international environment. To be informed by all kinds of different cultures when you're an artist in development is really exciting and really, really stimulating. Especially when you work with art, and that you really need to understand the different cultures. The great thing about Glasgow within Scotland is that all the national companies are based here, so it's a great place to be. Glasgow, I'd say, is probably the, the main hub of cultural activity in Scotland. Very open and friendly and I felt instantly welcome. We're looking for students who will actually flourish in an environment of artistic freedom. I would say they need to be open-minded. They need to come here with a, a thirst for learning and be open to the possibility of being surprised every day of their life in what they're doing in their art form and in their learning process. 
we've got to do the very best we can for every single student, concentrate on their individual talents and draw it right out of them. By the time they leave, all of our graduates are ready to go out there and strut their stuff on the stages of the world. We kind of call this a conservatory that is run by artists for artists. So it's very, very important to have the art right at the centre of what we do.